Hello and welcome to a gauche Christmas tutorial. We're going to make a Christmas advent calendar wreath today, so stick around. So materials for making this Christmas wreath, um, polystyrene wreath itself. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to use old pages from a book. I have read it to kind of papier-mâché on as the base. Uh, then I'm going to decorate it with some garden twine and some special Christmassy twine. Uh, what else have I got? I've got some Outless cardboard from Gosh Alchemy, some wood grain punchinella from Gosh Alchemy. I've got some spritz. I'm going to use some golden bits from the Banana Hammock Mixed Media Colour Kit from Gosh Alchemy. And then I've got a selection of bits and pieces from a lot of the other Mixed Media Colour Kits. I'm probably going to go for the uh, It's All Gravy, the brown one. There and then I've got my own collection of nude coloured ribbons and fabrics and things. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm just going to start by taking some of the old page. I'll just rip it into pieces. They don't have to be too small. And then, I'll, with the, the glue, take some, layer it on first. onto the polystyrene wreath and then I'll paste a piece of paper over it so and obviously once it's dry it dries clear so you'll be able to see the the, uh, the book pages through it still and basically just keep on doing that until you've covered the whole wreath when that's done and dried take a tape measure and mark on the inner and outer circumferences some marks so that you can see where you're going to wrap your twine uh, bear in mind that the inner circumference is going to be smaller, so when you mark them, they're going to taper in. I'm just going to start off um, on the back side uh, by sellotaping a little bit of the twine down. Um, it doesn't have to be super strong because once you've wound it, you can wind, wind it around the edge, the end, and then uh, obviously it'll hold itself on. Um, and then just making sure it's lined up with your marks, uh, you can start winding. And obviously I've got this massive ball of, of twine to deal with. It's going to get smaller as we go on, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, so get started on that. See how long it takes. Uh, by now I've wrapped all of my twine and um, golden thread around my wreath. Uh, what I'm going to do with the rest of the twine, and look how much I used up, possibly about 60 metres of it. I'm going to make uh, this remainder into a plait, uh, quite a thick one, so that I can hang the wreath here from a door. Uh, and then I'm going to start decorating. So here we go. This is the uh, almost decorated wreath. Uh, if you want to get your hands on material of this colour, uh, go for Gauche Alchemy's bare naked and nearly naked kits um, because they are really really sweet when it comes to this kind of nude tone um, you can't really get anything better than, than those kits so uh, go have a look so for the next uh, step um, what you need is to cut uh, 24 or 25 uh, big fairly large squares of cellophane um, get some chocolates and then just wrap it up kind of like that take a twist tie and just seal it closed there. Now I'm going to punch a circle and taking a number stamp. If you have number stickers, then obviously it's easy to use stickers as well. I'm going to stamp a number onto this circle, and then that is going to probably get stapled on to my suite, so that's number one. And continue all the way up until 24 or 25. You've got yourself a wreath advent calendar. <laughs> 